So I was almost done the oil cooler and then just didn't like how it was turning out with the bent uh, piece here. I wasn't gonna be able to seal it nice. So I decided to make it a flat piece with a bend. And on that, I'll be able to roll two angles along it. So when I rivet it together, it should be sealed. Okay, so I got the oil cooler all buttoned up. I just have some tape holding in place. I'm not sure if I want to get it welded together or if I'm just going to rivet it, but I need to figure that out and then I'll probably powder coat it. And then next project I'm going to tackle is my intake air temps are always really high. So we're going to try just build a cold air intake to start pulling from under the headlight. We've been using like a scoop here and it just still doesn't seem to work. We still have really high intake air temps just because we don't have any real box covering it in here so it can still pull air from back by the turbo. So we'll start on that. So I just kind of mocked up the cold air, actually lucked out really easy. I just got a piece of three and a half inch pipe to extend my mass airflow housing. And we just added in one more 45 degree coupler and filter is nice behind the bumper. I'll just be building, I can show here. I'm gonna build the splitter. I'll have to build a piece to block off so we're not throwing anything at it from the tire. But yeah, it worked out really good. The wiring for the mass airflow sensor reaches, so I didn't even have to extend wires or anything. So I'll build, a, just build a bracket to attach it to the frame rail so it's not flopping around. I'll probably trim this bracket off of the bumper. And then we're just gonna have to gut the back of the headlight out and I'll be able to run a factory lens again so that this will all be blocked off and we should have some better arrow with it. I just finished up the intake and this is what we got going on now. I extended it just a three and a half inch piece of pipe, moved mass airflow down and just bent up a bracket to hold it. But yeah, we should be getting cold air. I just have to figure out if I want to pull it through the fog light where it would have been or off the side of the intercooler. Just kind of see what will be better for arrow and keeping as much of the front end closed off as we can with keeping it cool, not restricting it for power wise. 